Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily signals video for stocks. Uh, members on the W5T Stock Signal Service get uh, weekly, daily, and 60 minute signals for both long and short. They get it every day. I also produce this video each day, as you can see down here on the bottom on the website there, just to help those uh, members. Um, set those signals up just using an example so in our members area members simply click on potential longs or potential shorts click on the image and download the spreadsheet so have a quick look at the spreadsheet so this is today's spreadsheet with the weekly daily and 60 minute for longs and I've chosen 60 minute for longs. let's have a look at a chart Okay, the reason why I've chosen these 60 minute longs it was there, were, there was a bearish correction yesterday in the markets. It was quite severe. There was a good pullback. So that gives opportunities. And there's lots of signals on the 60 minute time frame for longs today. So if the markets do turn up, we've got a good opportunity to get in a long swing trade, which could take us into the end of the week. So I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave 5 Trade. Um, this is the Ninja Trader version, but we do also have the Think or Swim, Trade Station, and Multi Charts version. The signals uh, filters that come up, we have the 535 oscillator down here with the green and the red oscillator. One of the filters is that we've actually pulled back between 90 and 140% on the way three. You can see that on this instance, it is perfect, well within there, looking to crown within that parameter. We also have the stochastic crossing over in the oversold zone. We also have the wave four pulling back into our automated probability zones. So just a, a note here for members that have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. This is a more complex setup to where to isolate the bar count because we've got this big support and resistance level right here. Um, we can't isolate the wave count at the bottom here because the uh, Elliott Wave rules get broken a few times coming up here. So we have to choose this support and resistance level right here. As you can see, this is quite a strong price level. And from here, we have this big impulse leg which is the wave three. So this is where we isolate the bar count here. So let's just zoom in. And let's look at the entry. So again, the wave four has pulled back into our automated probability zones. This is the amber zone, it's found support. Also this big trend line here as well. So the amber zone is an 80% probability it's gonna go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zone up here in blue, around about $111. So with the entry here, we are quite volatile at the moment, so I need to be really, really conservative. Usually we look for an entry outside of our 6.4 moving average high, this green moving average here. But that's a little bit too aggressive in the markets as they are right now. So I've got to look at previous price action. And what I'm looking at here on the left, uh, when I look left, I'm looking at this previous pivot level here. I want to be above all of these highs. So let's just highlight that there. So basically, I want to be above all of these highs here because these were, this is a resistance level. It's also on these lows here, a support level. So let's be quite conservative above the whole $108 um, price as well. So 108.04 entry long for PM on the 60 minute with a stop loss around about, we've got to be below the wave four low here. So we need the stop loss around about 106.79. The target's 111, so the risk to reward here between stop entry and target is just a little bit over one to two. So it's a really good risk to reward ratio. So again, this is a very, very simple setup here. We've had a little strong impulse uh, bullish move on the wave three. We've had some profit taken on the wave four over one, two, three days. OK, uh, each candle here is 60 minutes. We've found good support at a previous support level and in our automated um, probability zones. 
So now we're looking to this to move back up into the main bullish trend and we've got the entry 108.04. It's as simple as that. We get hundreds of signals every day like this and it's just a matter of learning how to set them up and we put those videos together. So that's it for today. Long Potential long entry on PM. If the markets turn bullish after that correction yesterday, there's a good chance that this will trigger and hopefully we'll get towards target towards the end of this week, if not Monday and Tuesday next week. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.